Hey guys, so today I want to talk about a question that I've been getting a lot. It's John, how do I lose weight, right? What is the best exercise activities? What can I do to really lose weight? Now, obviously, like I always say, you want to get your blood work done, check hormones out, make sure things are good there. You want to make sure you're getting a good eating plan, so good food sources and good macros, so good carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, and you want to make sure these are balanced. But that's all complication, right? Let's talk about some layman, easy things you can do to start your weight loss journey and get you some good results. So when we talk about what's the best type of exercise to really burn fat, right? To lose weight. So when we talk about this, we can name some different things. Cardio, right? That's a big thing, but swimming, running, these different things, stepper, whatever it is, getting the heart rate up, right? You're getting activity in, you're burning calories that way. That's a good way. Now, we always want to incorporate weight training. We know that the more muscle you have, the more fat you burn. And the more, you know, the more your metabolism will work for you as you gain more leaner muscle, right? The lean tissue. This is going to help you guys in the long run as far as your metabolism in general. So you want that too as well. Now, when we talk about weight loss, when we talk about weight loss, we want to talk about getting enough physical activity per week, not just one day doing two hours of strenuous activity. That's going to help you, but that's not going to be good because you need to be consistent about what you're doing. So really staying on track to your goal and being able to get some exercise or activity at least four to three to four times a week. Okay. So you're going to want activity at least three to four times a week, at least 30 minutes per session. So whatever you want to do and break it up, do some cardiovascular activity, right? Do some weight training activity. You don't have to lift all the weight in the gym. You don't got to go crazy. You can start lifting just your body weight. And what do I mean by that? I mean, you can do push-ups to start off. Start off with doing 10 push-ups, getting out of bed every day. If you're an amateur, you've never lifted weights in your life, you have no idea what to do, start with push-ups. Make sure the form is good. If you can't do a push-up, there's ways you can do baby push-ups to work your way up. Also, sit-ups. We want to develop a good core. We want to make sure everything is in balance and nice and tight. By doing sit-ups the correct way, you'll build a better core all the way around. And if you're having back problems or issues, this could help out in a major way for you. So make sure you're doing that as well. After that, you can always do pull-ups. Now you're going to say, I don't have a pull-up bar in my house. There's different things out there that you can purchase on the internet that you can put a pull up bar on any door hinge out there. I know because I've done it. All right. So you can get in push-ups, sit-ups and pull-ups. These are basic activities you can do at home, you know, build yourself a plan. But the main thing is to stick to the plan. So don't make the, the plan over complicated. I'm going to do this many macro. Like if you have no idea what a macro is, don't even start there. Start by doing better foods. You're starting to get activity and exercise, and then you're going to want to progress in anything you do in life. You're going to want to progress. Don't stay stagnant, right? Always be learning, be open-minded. When somebody's telling you something, unless it's flat out BS, you could possibly learn something from these people. It's the closed minded people out there. They get shut down and they usually, um, they don't like what they're doing at that point, And if they think that they can't get any better results, they go right back to, you know what, this isn't working. I'm just going to go back to what I was doing. And that's being unhealthy, right? All this is getting down to you being healthy. Physical activity is needed for the body, for you to be healthy. It's not made to sit around. Your body was not developed by that, right? To sit and be lazy on a couch, watching TV, being on a computer all day and not doing anything. We already, most of us, work in very strenuous work jobs as it is. Whether you're out in the field, you're doing roofing, or even if you're sitting in a cubicle all day, right? Now, at least the roofer is getting some good sun out there. It might be hot, he might get a sunburn, but at least he's getting that sunlight and he has been active. It sucks for the person that has to work, you know, in a cubicle because they're sitting there most of the day. The metabolism are probably slowing down. And if they're not good in good food choices, they're just adding on top of the problem or issue. So the big thing is guys, be active, be smart about it, right? And don't overcomplicate things. That's the biggest thing out there that I see. I see a lot of people get frustrated um, and turned off by the whole health thing because it seems like it's very complicated. I can't count calories, I can't do this. That's the biggest thing with weight loss, calories in and calories out. Now listen, 
all calories are not the same. So when I tell you calories in and calories out, don't say, listen, I'm gonna eat a cheeseburger that's 500 calories that's topped with all these different toppings and sauces, or I could eat a chicken breast or two chicken breasts and get the exact same amount of protein and calories, right? Those calories are gonna be different than the cheeseburger or ice cream sundae or whatever it is that represents those calories. So good calories in, right? Good calories out. That's how it should be. So just build that off there. Good food choice is where it starts. And then you can start counting calories and you can get all crazy with it and you can be experienced and uh, you'll be on your way to being a better, healthier you. So this is just some of the tips from me to you guys in Titan Medical Center. I appreciate all you guys. I hope this helps you on your weight loss journey. And if you already passed this, God bless you and keep rolling, baby. Titan strong all day, every day. I'll see you guys on the next Titan tip just for you guys. Later. What's going on you all? My name is Jason Page. For those of you in the Tampa area, I go by Poppy Page. Um, my job is a crazy lifestyle. I'm in the promotion field and I run events all week. Um, it's a lot of running around, a lot of here and there, there and here, consistently in my phone. And pretty much I needed to come and find something that can help me, give me the energy that I needed to stay consistent with work. Mm. I felt okay. Um, I felt better before. My, Like I said, my energy was just not where it should have been. Um, trying to work out, I was able to finish the workout, but I wasn't able to push myself like how I used to do before things got crazy after the pandemic. So everything closed, staying in the house was kind of a hard thing to do. Working out at home sounds like it would be easy, but when you have snacks and everything around, nowhere to go, you can't leave your house, things get kind of repetitive. So uh, I decided to become a patient just for the fact of me hearing so many good things about Titan, me knowing a lot of people that worked here at Titan and all the positive responses from people who are already a patient at Titan. Um, I said, hey, let's, let's give it a shot. I, I know how my body normally feels and my body feels off. Like I said, coming out of everything we've been going through. So, reached out to John, came over to Titan, got introduced to my buddy Art, and, you know, did everything I needed to do, got my blood work done. They pretty much showed me what I needed to work on and, and what was down and what was up. And some things were down that I didn't think, personally, I, I didn't think they were down. So, the thing I needed really to enhance was probably my energy, my energy and my focus. I noticed that since my energy was down, my focus was kind of shifting everywhere and, and wasn't a good feeling. So currently I take the ECA Stack Plus. Now this is like my miracle pill. I take this in the morning with my, uh, my tea and my shake. What it does, is it's a consistent release of, of caffeine or energy throughout the day. There's no crash. It, it helps in the process of me working out, giving me that boost in the gym. To where I don't take a pre-workout anymore because I don't need it and at the same time it helps me speed up my recovery and you see the gains the lean muscle that's what we do baby and uh, overall yeah it's just it's just it's exactly what I need Titan offers a lot of other therapies for an range of people but specifically for me I have a athletic frame and what I needed for me was just my boost of energy to help me get into the gym help me get back going and 
now it's I'm consistently where I want to be. I feel good. Uh, that's what it comes down to. Um, these therapies just are set for people that specifically need things that they specifically need. If if you want to feel better energy wise, they have something for that. If overall health wise, you have something else going on, they have something for that. I feel great. I'm able to. I wake up at 5:30 a.m. in the morning. I'm in the gym by seven. Um, I start my day early. I'm not cranky anymore. It's always a one. Uh, shout out to my girl Meech. <laughs> she always takes care of me. She always makes sure that even if I forget to make a phone call to order my therapies for the next month, I know that I'm getting that call from Titan to say, "Hey, Mr. Page, time to put in for the next month." Yeah, it bothers me if I don't have it. Not that I need it. But I enjoy taking it because I know the benefits that I have from taking it and I would rather take it than to stop taking it. So beyond happy. I'm, um, I'm grateful for Titan. I appreciate them as a company as a whole for just helping people get to a point to where they're able to move how they once did. I'm not an old man, but I get so busy and so caught up when my energy is drained. I'm kind of drained and this just kind of helps me get to the point to where I don't get too drained. Like I said, in my lifestyle, I'm all over, I'm active, I'm here, I'm working out, I'm there, I'm dealing with a lot of people, making sure that uh, business still gets conducted as it should, but I feel better, so my business is doing good. And uh, tight and strong. Peptides are made from amino acids that are linked together. They can be thought of as a small protein sequence. They have many functions in the body including signaling and messaging. Some may act like neurotransmitters, while others may act like hormones. For people who have experienced connective tissue injuries like severe tendonitis, tendon tears, and even complete tendon ruptures, healing peptides can be beneficial with regards to repair and recovery of these complex injuries. If you have questions about which healing peptide is the most beneficial for you, call or text Titan Medical Center at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up, guys? John here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, this week, we're going to cover what's going on today. It's the 4th of July. That's right. America's Independence Day. Uh, a lot of people have died for our flag and for our independence. So that's a big, big thing out there. I think some people... You know, they forget that sometimes. So I just want to make sure that we're all aware of, you know, what's went on to make our country so great and the sacrifices a lot of people have done to make this country what it is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and 4th of July is great too, right? Because usually you're getting out, you're doing stuff with the family, you're attending barbecues, you're swimming dogs, in pools, hamburgers. hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever <laughs> it is. Um, you know, and you're, whatever it is, you're, you're getting together with family, you're having a good time, and you're celebrating the 4th of July. And let's not forget about... The fireworks. 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 In the are air great. or in the bedroom? Oh, I'm both, right? <laughs> 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 the good one. <laughs> you know, but, you know, it's all about fireworks too. So I mean, you know, I mean, some people don't like fireworks. So if you don't like them, totally, it's that's your choice. Some people do like fireworks. Um, you know, there are people out there that get affected by fireworks too, or even fur babies. You know, so some dogs get, get <laughs> really run crazy into the when bed. they see fireworks. Yeah, they get scared. Um, or even some veterans, right, or might have PTSD. Um, and at that point, there are some people out there that do get affected by fireworks. So I just want to be more conscious about all those people out there and more inclusive 
I like that new word, inclusive. That means everybody, um, you know, out there. So we're just, you know, we're thinking about other people, not just ourselves. I think that's what that's fireworks so are all about. I love it. It's really, it's really what it is. So, I really do. But, you know, I, fireworks are cool because <laughs> at that point, you know, a lot of people, especially when I was a kid, we used to go to, like, these different parks and stuff like that. We used to have huge fireworks oh, yeah. shows. Oh, yeah. You know, I wasn't, you know... I wasn't blessed enough to be living down here like Sharif was because in Florida, I would bet on the beach watching fireworks uh-huh. every 4th of July. I was in the street. I was holding a, sp- a sparkler. A- yeah. And you know the things you're not supposed to hold? like you know The Roman candles? Yeah, because my dad told me that I could hold them. Okay? Not so that's what I used to do. And I would just shoot them up in the air and then like, you know, shoot them at things like <laughs> trees and stuff. And this I, was okay back yeah. then. I, I think, you know, <laughs> as kids, we might have messed with if we did put a fire. You are not supposed to hold Roman it's candles crazy. and shoot them at each other. I remember, like, in Fourth of July, like, you know, like, you know, some nights, and my brother was nine and a half years older than me, right? So his friends were nine and a half years older than me, too. And we'd, have, like, we'd have bottle rocket wars, and they'd be, <laughs> we'd be shooting bottle rockets. So I think about it now, I'm like, oh my God, what were they doing? <laughs> and I was young, so what were they doing? Even let me be involved with that. How as a dare kid, you right? let these children so be part quit, of bottle rockets? Shame, shame on you. But luckily, nothing <laughs> happened. Um, you know, some things do happen to people with fireworks. You know, they get their hands blown off, fingers blown off. Bad mm-hmm. things can happen with burns and such. So if you are going to mess around with fireworks, please be safe about it. Mm-hmm. Teach your kids you know, proper safety. With fireworks, don't hold them in your hand. Always put them on the ground, play securely. And run as fast as you can. Because, I mean, even with that, like, you know, if you're blowing off fireworks, don't blow them off in a neighborhood. And I'll just give you uh, my personal uh, situation what happened to me last year. So, Uh. God bless, you know, this year is going to be a better year as far as that goes. Shreed is healthy, doesn't have COVID anymore, and wasn't in the hospital like last year. I don't want to be there again. So at that point, when she was in the hospital in ICU, ever. obviously they weren't letting anybody in there at all. Yep, and I sat so, in there all alone and listened to the fireworks. So basically what I did was I was FaceTiming with Sharice the whole time when she was in there. And I was crying. And at that point, like, I'm sitting on the bed at home, um, and I'm listening to these fireworks go off. I'm like, all right, cool. I look out the window, and let it behold, mm-hmm. the neighbors across the street start think it's a good idea that they're not going to blow fireworks off in their backyard. Even though they have a really big they're backyard. They're not going to blow them off in their driveway. Right. They're going to go to the middle of the street where it's aiming towards my driveway. And in my driveway, I think I got some pretty badass rides. <laughs> Uh, I know I do to a certain extent, and you know I know the money that These they cost me. These are hard-earned, worked vehicles that we cherish. So okay, if I start seeing fireworks coming down on my wrapped vehicles and my vehicles, and that's disrespecting my property. Not, not even talking about the cleanup factor in my yard. Yeah, right? let's not talk about that. I'm going to be very upset about it. And I think anybody has a right to be very upset about it. If you start disrespecting people's property, you know, it's not yours to do. There's probably going to be an issue, right? Right. And they're going to deal with it in a lot of different ways. I don't even know if fireworks are legal. If cops get called, I have no idea how that works. I know Uh, they sell them everywhere down here in Florida. It's changed nowadays. You didn't know back in the day in Florida, John, when I tell you, at every single stoplight, there was a fireworks fireworks joint. Yeah, I bet. And you'd go in there and you'd spend, you know, and and get as many rolls as you possibly could. (laughs) I'm telling you, you'd kill it. Yeah, so, you know, fireworks are good. So at that point, like... They can be really awesome. It can be really entertaining. It can be great for the family to sit there and watch. Like I said, proper safety. Make sure you're not disrespecting other people's property. I think that's the biggest things to take out of it. Um, even if you're not going to blow off fireworks, it's really cool if you were going to take the family or you want that romantic date with your loved one, take them to somewhere where they you guys can share and bond that time. Like literally you guys can sit like on a blanket, wherever it's at. They usually have some pretty cool right? different, that's anywhere. I think anywhere, anywhere you can go and find a place that's usually shooting off fireworks. Yeah. Like I know the malls used to close down and we used to go to the mall. Yep. That yep. was really cool. Oh, I remember that too. Remember yeah. that? Yep. And they would like put on this big fireworks show. Yep. I know Disney World puts on a really good fireworks show. Disney, they do. A really good fireworks yep. show. They do. Um, but you can go somewhere and just spend time with your family. I mean, ultimately, when we start talking about all these holidays, right? The, you know, this, the holidays coming up. And by the way, <laughs> we are open on Monday. <laughs> oh, yeah. July 5th. Place are closed on July 5th. It's the 5th, not the 4th. It's so, not a holiday on the 5th. Trust me, I wanted Monday off, this? too, okay? I wanted Monday off, too. It didn't happen. It's yeah. on a Sunday, and I still got to work Sunday. So what, I have zero empathy here? for anyone out yeah, there. Yeah, no, no, definitely Luckily, not. the banks are closed. Yeah. But, I mean, you the know. The banks are open on the 5th. No, they're closed. The banks are closed? Yeah. 
I know. I just Observance. found out about this. Wow. So it's cool. It's cool. Okay. You know, but I mean, it's it's a time for you to spend time with your family, your loved ones. You know, spend quality time. Like this gives you that opportunity to do that. Especially like you know, with these barbecues, a lot of these Floridians. Yep. Okay, yep. we like to barbecue outside. Yep. I'm hoping it doesn't rain on Fourth of July. There is, it, it's always like a fifty fifty chance of rain on Fourth of July, and no matter what. They're going to still have that firework show. Yeah. Like they might postpone it or whatever yeah. it might be. Yeah. You know who else puts on a good firework show? Who? Piper and Corey. Oh, yeah. Mike Piper, Water. They're probably going to have some great fireworks. they got to have a good one. They, I mean, Corey, and I'm going to make sure I tag her in this or however we're going to do that. Yeah. But I want to make sure she used to put on some really good firework shows at yeah. Jackson's. Yeah. Jackson's in the middle of the water out there. So that's what I'm saying. It's like it was just it was nice. You know, it you ca- I don't know what it is about fireworks, but when the fireworks go off, right? Yeah. It's like this moment, right? It's enchanting. Same, same thing as like New Year's Eve, right? It's this moment that you get to just bond or connect yeah. for a moment because it's just so pretty, it's yep. so nice. You know, you just have that moment. Enjoy the moment while you can. Yeah. You know, enjoy it. Yeah, that's what life's all about, is enjoying those moments, right? And recognizing those moments. And they'll literally stay with you forever at that point. I mean, those are usually happy moments, you know. And, and that's another big thing. So this year, I think Mike Piper, Pipe Piper Productions, big shout out, and Core Arena, they're doing water. Okay? Oh, I'm sure they're going to do something So great. it's here in Tampa, if you guys don't know. So big shout out to them. Um, that wasn't planned or anything. So I hope you guys, if you guys don't have any plans, they'll probably have some good music and some probably good fireworks over there. So go check them out. For sure. Um, but, you know, side of the point, like, if you're looking to do something with your partner, like, you know, that's really a really good time to do it. You really don't even have to say anything or do anything. Maybe just hold them, hold their hand, whatever it is, yep. and kind of just enjoy the moment together. It's, yeah. it's really cool. It's a really bonding thing. Usually that New Year's are really good for fireworks, especially for sure. down here. Up north, not so much because it's cold. And that usually <laughs> why I have it, but. Not in July, though, right? No, in July, no. I, wait, I think we were out in when, Chicago once. So I took her to Navy Pier one time. <gasps> that was so cool. Uh, Fourth of July and up in Chicago, I short of my it. old stopping grounds. That was nice, but that was cool too. We went on a boat uh, out, uh, you know, out there in Lake Michigan. That was nice. And at that point, seeing the fireworks out there it was yeah, really was cool. cool. Right in front of Navy Pier, it was just you know, it's awesome scenery, like stuff like that is just really, really cool. Um, and th- think about this: we didn't, most of the people didn't get to really do anything last year because of COVID, yeah. right? They canceled National all the fireworks shows. You know, no gatherings. You know, nothing like that. So this year, we got to make up double for last year. So you guys need to help out and and really, you know, show some pride and some joy with 4th of July this year. And uh, go out for your family, go out for yourself, and go out for your partner, whoever you're going to be with. I'm going to eat an extra hot dog just for that. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to have one more extra drink, too, while we're at it. I mean, even for us, like, you you know, usually you can start traditions, too, for 4th of July. And one of our traditions did get broken this year um, because, you know, one of our friends, you know, they used to throw on Ugh. this, yeah. like, phenomenal w- phenomenal fireworks display. I mean, At the guy the used to spend, like, twenty or $30,000 or probably more probably, on fireworks. Well, I have at least, like, 50 it was It was, like, better than a lot of shows that I see. Yeah. And this is, like, right there. Really cool. Um, you know, but, you know, things happen and they're not doing it anymore. Um, so at that point, you know, we kind of off on that, but we're going to have our own little family thing where me, Peter and Sharice are going to be by the pool and by the beach and hopefully get to see some good fireworks and enjoy some good weather this weekend. Yeah. So if you guys don't live in Florida or if you do live in Florida, you know that, you know, summer is rain season here. So, you know, it usually rains once or twice a day. Yeah. But like it rains and then the sun comes out yeah. like five minutes later. So just, you know, just go stand under a tiki hut or something and then <laughs> you'll go back out and then you get your, get your tan on. Grab some shade. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. <laughs> How many times does that happen? A lot. A lot. A lot. That's what happens in Florida. It does happen. There's sun showers is what they call yeah, it. Yeah, sun showers. Sun showers. Hopefully it won't rain most of the day or hopefully it won't downpour. John's so looking hate. forward to that sun. I'm looking forward to the he sun. He loves the sun. See, he loves the sun. And he's over there trying to get his tan on, right. like literally going like this, get him making sure he gets under here, yep. going this way. Yep. And literally, I am like, where is the umbrella? Yep. Okay? Because I am like, I don't want any more sun. I don't want to feel super hot. Hot. I don't want to be sweating. I, lo- I enjoy the, you know, nice weather and the, the you know, pool side and stuff like that. But I just I just don't want the sun, like, yeah. beating on me. She likes know? the environment, but she doesn't like the em- sun. Yeah, yeah. I, I just need the umbrella. You know, yeah. so I, I tell the people, like, find me an umbrella, roll it on over here, and put it right over my chair. <laughs> 
It's terrible. I usually pay him to put two umbrellas over it. Just chair. in case. You know, the sun so rotates. Tell me, yeah. <laughs> From east to west or whatever it is. So at that point, you got to make sure you're covered on both ends. But uh, yeah, so, you know, if you haven't planned anything for today, go out. Go find something. Uh, you can go online and probably find out where all the fireworks sure. um, displays are going to be at or, or events are going to be at in your area. So it's probably really easy to do. And you still got time. Right, because it's early right now. So at that point, you can go out, you know, because fireworks usually don't happen till like dusk time, right? And, and you know, when it starts getting dark, because you can't That's like see eight, the fireworks. Yeah, like so here in Florida, it's like you know, eight. I would say about yeah. eight o'clock or something like that. Uh, if you're not planning on doing fireworks, call up some friends or take your loved one out and go to do something really cool. Yeah, you know, especially here in Florida, man. You can go to the beach, you can go everywhere. We are open and full here in Florida, so. At that point, there's no restrictions. You guys can pretty much do whatever you want to do. Go um, get your own fireworks. Yeah, there you go. You can do that too. Do your own. Just yeah. do it in your own backyard, okay? Be safe about it. And not other people's cars. Be safe about yeah. it. Yeah. So uh, that's it, guys. <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying yourself on your 4th of July. I hope you guys have yes. an awesome Happy 4th night. of July. Happy 4th of July and happy Independence Day to our country. Yes. You know, let's not lose sight of that and what has made our country what it is. We can't erase history. We can only learn from our mistakes and move forward. All right? So we appreciate you guys tuning in. Like always, make sure you guys check out our social medias, guys. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and especially our YouTube page, right? And if you guys want to learn more about our therapies and what we do here, go to our website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com. You guys can always call or text us about anything we discuss here as far as our therapies go or how we can service you and make you look better, feel better, and perform better. Just call or text 727-389-3220. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See ya.